back. We are heading out on another fly fishing adventure. Thanks for joining us. In the past, you've seen us fish still waters with float tubes using streamers and nymphs. This time, it'll be a little different. We went to explore a little mountain lake that sits around 11,000 feet mean sea level, or MSL. I have done a lot of legwork in research and map studies to find this lake. So I hope you can appreciate that I'm not going to expose the name or location of this lake. I'm sure with some clues from this video, along with some map study, anyone can find this lake. After arriving at the lake and taking in its beauty, we set up camp right offshore. Disclaimer, I am no expert or professional at this. I'm your average recreational fly fisherman. But these following tips have helped me get onto more fish in these situations. Whenever I approach unfamiliar waters, instead of busting through to the shoreline with my float tubes, I will sit and observe for a little bit. I would either observe from afar, on a hill with elevation to my advantage, or I would conceal myself behind trees and tall grass and observe closer to shore. Not too close though. We could see that this lake was clean, clear, and eutropic. Now for the nerd side of my brain. A eutropic lake describes a lake that is relatively shallow with healthy vegetation growing from the soft sand. Now mind you, this is healthy vegetation like weeds, not algae blooms. It also has a self-sustaining ecosystem with insects above the waterline and tons of invertebrates below the waterline. Because of our observations, we saw fish actively feeding between the vegetation and the shoreline, especially near sunken timber and overhangs. They were even rising to fallen insects that were blown off into the water by the wind. With that, we chose to rig up with dry flies like Alcaricatuses and ants. We stuck with the dry fly tactic for the rest of the day and walked the shoreline. <laughs> I should shut up now and just show you our results.
Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Use the water as friction. There you go. Now cast. There it is. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah. Closing, just don't bust her up to the shoreline. A lot of times it will hold trout between vegetation and shoreline undercuts or timber. If you like this video, please subscribe. In the near future, I will be adding additional topics like outdoor cooking recipes and more. To my current subscribers, thank you so much. Your views make me want to continue my video hobby. Till next time my friends, I bid you adieu. Get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. I know I will. Yeah, number 165, you big. All right, go on, cross. Yeah, go on.